Gold has seen a double top at 1937.4 levels, and yes, as I asked you to buy at 1930 early in the day, but and yes, I told you also that 1935 is going to provide a little resistance, which is precisely stuck at the same levels. Likewise, if you look at the US crude, see, I told you that beyond 68.8, 69.2 zone, it may try to achieve 69.8 and 70 levels. It has reversed precisely from the same levels. So now, what to expect with the US session? Which position you should take in order to profit trading gold and crude oil WTI? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon. In this analysis, first we'll look into gold followed with crude oil WTI. Do watch till the end. Do listen to it carefully. Note down the levels. Trade as per the levels. Now look at the hourly charts besides getting the resistance from the top of the Bollinger Bands. Also, this is the double top area at 1937.5 levels. And see, it has created a base here at 19. 28 and with that as base it is trying to rise so in the morning we saw that uh, yes if it stays above 1930 there could be a little rise now see a base is formed here at 1927 28 and hence once it breaks below the zone at 1927 28 you can stay short and then expect 1924 and 1920 levels and remember only and only if it breaks below 1915 there could be little more bearishness which can be expected right now if you look at this candle try to give a breakout and i'll wait for the next candle even next candle if you see it trading above this double top zone at 1938 you can stay long so 1928 38 zone do not take a trade for now with the us session now let's have a look see the stochastic is seen rising the macd is trading with slight divergence in green rsi trying to look upwards and show a little strength and if you look at the two hour charts now look at the two hour charts all consecutive green candles here and this is trying to trade bullish now see it is formed a very good step but uh, see still trying to trade bullish trying to look up first however getting a push on the upside and also it is see the bollinger bands it is trying to give it a push on the downside so possibly once it stays below 1928 you can expect that 24 20 and then below that further drop can take it for 1915 levels and below 1915 it is going to crash heavily it is possible but then you have to be cautious till do not sell till 1928 levels See the stochastic is near to overbought, MACD is trying to cross over trade with a slight divergence, RSI is looking upwards showing a little strength and if you look at the 3R chart, likewise on the 3R charts higher lows are seen, higher highs are seen and see a uh, bu bullish candle then slight sideways movement and if it gives a breakout it is going to bring very strong bullish movement and then 1942-45 zone and beyond that sky is the limit for 1950-1960 is stochastic near to overbought MACD trying to converge crossover RSI trying to look upwards and show a little strength and if you look at the 4 R charts likewise on the 4 R charts see higher lows higher highs waiting for it to break out beyond the double top zone and possibly beyond that we may see little bullishness the stochastic is seen rising, MACD trying to converge crossover, it is in red right now, RSI trying to look upwards and if you look at the daily charts, now look at the daily chart, see one important observation is the previous two candles, higher lows, lower highs, this candle has already tried to breach past uh, this consolidation and try to trade bullish but at the same time one point to note here is the double top levels and Precisely at the double top levels, it has got the resistance. Hence, I will wait for it to break past 1938 and then expect it to rise. Possibly, once it trades above 1938, it can show you bullishness. Else, uh, you can sell at 1928 levels, expect 24, 25, and then 20. Only bearishness can be seen once it trades below 1920 levels. So, very, very clear. If you look at daily stochastic, this is overbought. The MACD, however, is very, very bullish. It is looking upwards. It is divergent. And RSI is also back to overbought zone. So for the day, very clear. Do not trade between 28, 38. And a bearish confirmation on the downside is only if it trades below 19, 20 levels, below which little more bearishness can be expected. At the same time, see on the top side, 19, 40, 42, 45. Till 45, it's fine. Beyond that, it is going to hit 50 and 60 levels. 60 is the next major resistance level. Take your trades accordingly. Trade with a stop loss, trade with a trailing stop loss. Now let's have a look at crude oil. And yes, if you want to learn this art of trading profitably, you should join my mentorship. The 20th batch starts on 20th of March. 
reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description now let's have a look at the crude oil on the hourly chart see it has gone close to 69.870 levels failed to break past and are again trying to reverse also one must note that it is still getting the support at 68.6 and 68.4 this we talked about in the morning and yes if it sells trades below 68.6 you can sell and then expect 68.4 68 levels only slight bearishness confirmation is if it trades below 68 levels then and then only one can expect that there could be slight drop see it is trying to trade in this slightly bullish channel yes there was a drop earlier and on the early charts the signal is green till the time it stays above 67.5 level also if you look at the larger schema of things double bottom here and since then trying to retrace and yes one must note that any break should bring more bearishness if possibly it is not going to break the lows for the week today this is my expectation the stochastic is seen dropping here the macd is in green trying to converge the rsi is looking down showing a little bearishness the two hour charts are also simply uh, indicating the same thing but look higher lows low higher highs lower lows showed a good swing which possibly might try to expand a the bollinger bands which have narrowed so from here this can try to show you extreme bullishness if it breaks past 60 70 level certainly it can show you very good bullishness but right now it is not, not bullish as of now the stochastic was overbought now looking down the macd is in green trying to converge a bit rsi is also trying to look down and if you look at 3 hour charts now see on the 3 hour charts also see higher lows are that is what we can see higher highs also we can see. so one thing is clear below 868.6 you can sell but then 68.4 68.2 and 68 in fact i will say 67.8 these till 67.8 you have to put a 0.2 dollar trailing stop loss and once it draws below 67.8 more bearishness might take it for 67.5 67 and 66 levels the stock elastic is near to overbought macd is on the 3 hr charts is still divergent is still bullish and see what can happen here is it is trying to probably consolidate a bit once is it trades above 69.2 again possibly we may see little more bullishness rsi trying to look upward now look at the 4 hr chart see lower highs higher lows this candle try to break out and is still trying to trade in this channel so possibly once again as you uh, as i said morning also now again if you see it trading above 69.2 yes you can buy however 69.5 69.8 and 70.2 these three levels you should watch out for only and only if it trades above 70.2 the next target is going to be 71 levels the stock has taken over board the macd crossed over trading with slight divergence looking upwards and if you look at the rsi this has also come out of the oversold zone now look at the daily chart see on the daily charts first previous two candles almost double bottom or slightly higher highs and see this candle is also giving you higher highs and higher lows so previous candle this candle almost trying to trade parallel this is trying to get a pull on the downside so yes once you see trading below 68.6 you can sell and if you see trading above 69.2 you can buy but then on the upside wait for it to break past 70.2 till the time you have to put a 0.2 dollar trailing stop loss strictly and only and only if it trades above 60 70.2 it can try to achieve the next targets at 71 and 72 levels on the downside selling at 68.6 yes 66 68.4 68.268 and 67.8 uh, till 67.8 0.2 dollar trailing stop loss below that 67.5 and 67 so remember we have to preserve our capital we have to avoid the things we have to ensure that we always have little profits but profits and second no losses that is that is the criteria to trade if you trade with this discipline definitely you can be a profitable trader trade accordingly buying and selling levels already mentioned trade accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment press the bell icon join my mentorship page join my signal channel reach out to me for more details my telegram and email id is mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead thank you